What is up guys, it's Tony here and today we are here to record Tony Talks and today we're going to be talking about a, uh, I guess you can call it controversial topic, we're going to be talking about the consoles, the, uh, the Xbox Ones, the PS4s, the uh, I guess the Wii U as well, and PC, and we're going to be talking about my opinions on the next generation of gaming, where it's heading, and which console I'm going to be getting, and all that jazz, but before we get to that, I'd like to mention that this is some gameplay from ESPN Core, a player on my team, ESP, and he uh, pretty much just wrecks it up in this game, goes 48 and 12, and uh, this is part of my new method of doing Tony Talks, where I'll record, or I'll get some gameplay, or record maybe even, some gameplay from some random uh, YouTubers or players that I know, and I'll basically commentate over it. It could be gameplay from any game you want. Um, it doesn't only have to be FPS. It could be any game you want from A to Z. And uh, if you guys want to participate th in this and you want to get your content out there, go ahead and leave a video response of some gameplay that I can commentate over. Uh, I recommend that it's at least 10 minutes um, or at least send me two five-minute gameplays so I could uh, have a lot of time to uh, express my opinions and whatever I'm talking about and all that stuff. So if you guys want to see Encore's channel, he's a great player, makes some great montages, and uh, you can see him in the description. So let's go ahead and get started on this topic here because it's a big one. Uh, we're going to be talking about, as I mentioned earlier, the consoles, the new generation of gaming and my opinions on all that. Uh, you know, this topic has been beaten to the point where it's not even worth talking about. But still, I'd like to give my opinion since I had a few fans ask for it. And I'm going to try to make it as unique as possible. I'm not going to try to, you know, say the things that everyone else has said. Uh, you know, so the new consoles are coming out. And, well, they've been announced at this point. And, um, you know, the Xbox One is pretty impressive in my opinion. I think the uh, design of it's pretty nice. I think that the graphical and, you know, like the specs of it are really nice. And, uh, you know, there were a few, you know, points about it that a lot of people didn't like. The fact that, you know, you can't play rented games, you know, you can't, like, or rent games. You can't play used games, that's it. And they got rid of that, so now uh, there's really no gripes there. Uh, the thing where you have to connect every 24 hours, but they got rid of that as well. So we're at a point now where the Xbox really isn't an awful console anymore. Uh, I gotta admit, I was a little disappointed at a few of those things, especially the used game thing because I do like selling my old games to uh, friends or giving them to friends or borrowing games from friends as well and I think that was a trademark or a hallmark of uh, gaming so I think that you know doing that was awful and good thing they fixed it um, the PS4 looks nice as well um, I mean it, it looks good you know spec wise the design is alright um, you know it's a little odd I, I don't understand the whole sharing thing and how you could like ask people for help with a with a mission you're on I mean that's what YouTube's for that's why I'm here that's why other people are here to do walkthroughs um, I think it's just a silly idea but overall it's not a bad console and it's also a great contender in the uh, in the console warfare if you will and uh, I think they're both great uh, consoles now the one I'm getting is absolutely going to be the Xbox One, and this is simply because, to be honest, I'm used to it. It's, it's the console I've used for uh, the last five years, six years, maybe even more than that. And uh, I've had PlayStations in the past, but it's been so long, and i got to be honest, the, the feature set on the Xbox and the way they advertise it is just more appealing to me. Uh, there was a point where I was kind of considering not getting the Xbox because of the used game thing and blah, blah, blah. But I gotta be honest, at this point in time, um, I'm gonna go with the Xbox One. And is it possible that I'll get the PS4 with it? You know, have a second console laying around? Yeah, it's very possible. Uh, the PS4 does look appealing, and as more information comes out about it throughout the uh, throughout the months coming up, uh, yeah, there's a possibility. I do like the exclusive titles that show up on uh, the, pl the PlayStation platform in the past, like Heavy Rain was really nice. So I'd like to see more like that. Uh, but as of right now, it's, I'm pretty much sticking with the Xbox. I really like the exclusive titles on the Xbox, like Titanfall. Uh, and, you know, I'm excited about that. So, uh, the thing I don't understand that I've been seeing in the comments a lot on a lot of videos lately is this console warfare. Um, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me why you would argue so much about which console's better. I mean, the fact is, just buy the console you like and have it and deal with it. You know, that that's it. I mean, the thing is, all these none of these consoles are perfect. They all have a thing that people don't like about it and a thing that people love about it. Um, for example, the Xbox, a lot of people like 
um, you know, the way, you know, the, 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 the Xbox Live systems, you know, operating system is much better, uh, the community is much better, the party system is much better, the microphone quality is much better. I'm going by the 360, by the way, but the thing people don't like is they have to pay monthly for it. Um, you know, for the PlayStation, people really like that it's free. People really like the Blu-ray player. Uh, but then there's the side of, you know, the internet wasn't that great. I don't know if they patched that. The internet was kind of, like, laggy. I remember having a lot of lag when I played on a PS3 a few times. The microphone that you had to buy, I believe, was really low quality. And I'm sure they fixed a lot of these problems. But, you know, every single side of the equation has an issue. It has a problem. And, um, that's always going to be the case. There's, you know, there's no... Everything's a double-edged sword, if that makes sense. Um, a double-edged sword is when it has a good side and a bad side. And, you know, you have to deal with the bad side to, to get the good out of it. So, I don't understand these war, you know, these wars about the which, which you know, console's better. I mean, it's not like you created the console. I mean, shut up. You know, it's, it's not your achievement. You just went out and spent money and made a company a load of profit. So, it's not that impressive that, you know, you're a fan of PlayStation or whatever. I'd rather see people fighting about what music is better because I think that that's actually a little bit more um, interesting and you know it's it's it shows really like expression of you know actual art and not just you know a device that people are trying to make profit off of. So uh, yeah, uh, I gotta be honest. I'm just going with the Xbox and uh, I might get the PlayStation as well. We'll see what happens money-wise and uh, you know. I'm just a little, I, I kind of hate the, the whole console warfare. The other thing that bothers me is when people bring PCs into the equation. And, you know, there's always the PC elitists that go, yeah, PC's the best. You know, and then there's always the guys who go, PC's bad. And it's for old, you know, old, you know, like 40-year-old guys who, you know, haven't stepped in the 21st century. And, you know, I got to be honest, like, you know, the whole PC versus console thing, which is where, you know, Xbox and P PS3 or whatever it is, P PlayStation a lot, uh, elitists, you know, gather up together and fight against the PC menace. I don't understand that as well. Because, you know, 90% of the arguments against PC are just ridiculous. Like, for example, I heard someone say in the comments section before, uh, recently, they're probably going to comment on this video, uh, rebuttaling me, they said how PC has less titles, it has less of a selection. That is something that I've never heard argued before, at all. Because, to be honest, like, every game that's on console, except for exclusives, are on PC. That's a fact. Pretty much every game, on like the Xbox or the PS3, is also on the PC. Um, and, you know, most of the time when an exclusive comes out, like Halo, uh, for the uh, Xbox, a lot of the times, there's a lot of, fini you know, there's a lot of like, you know, crafty motherfuckers who get Halo to work on the PC somehow. And that's happened in the past and it'll happen again. In addition to that, PC also modifies games like COD 4 and Gary's Mod um, and, and Counter-Strike and, and, and what's, what, what's, I'm trying to think of it, um, what's that, uh, Minecraft, <laughs> good thing about Minecraft is that, Minecraft, and they take games, one single game, and they turn them into like 40 games, just like that. So, I mean, the amount of selection on, on the PC is definitely larger. Than the selection on the on the console, I'd say you can be entertained for longer on the PC than the console. And then there's the argument of there's less people on PC, which is kind of an interesting argument as well because it's kind of, it has some truth to it actually, and it's kind of hard to debate that. Uh, but I got to be honest, like when you go to the older games on PC, like COD 4, uh, Counter Strike, and uh, then you go to them on on console, like you go to COD 2 or COD 4 on console, you'll find there's no one on console. But the minute you go to PC, you'll find, you know, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people on these older games. Simply because mods and other, uh, you know, types of, I guess, skins and textures um, allow the game to keep alive. Which is a really good thing for people who enjoy games like COD 4. And there's a lot of us out there who enjoy those games and hate to see them die on console. So I think that PC is also a viable option. I think the biggest argument against PC is the price. And, uh, you know, it does get expensive on PC. And that's always something to, uh, to take into consideration. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is Encore's gameplay. 58 and 12, not bad at all. Uh, if you guys want to send in your gameplay and you think you have better gameplay on any game you play, it could be FIFA, it could be COD 4 even, um, it could be PC, it could be Xbox, it could be, you know, cross-platform, cross it could be Wii even. 
um, go ahead and send that as a video response. Um, you basically click on the comment and then you create a video response if you didn't know how to do that. And that's pretty much it. I'm Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.